Okay. How Siri you here. How can I help? By not interrupting my video. All right, guys. So today's video is gonna be a little all over the place. I've been filming a bunch of stuff, and I kind of just wanted to put it all together because I didn't really have a foundation for the video. It's just kind of stuff that I've been filming here and there. And there's some stuff that I actually want to show you guys, like a new product I've been using a lot, and also some sneakers. Now to start things off. We gotta talk about that Travis Scott Air Jordan 6. Now you guys know I already had it if you've been paying attention to my social media and YouTube, but that doesn't mean I couldn't try to get another pair. So quickly, let's flash back about last weekend and I had to go pick up my pair from Jumpman. actually to get the Jumpman Travis Scott t-shirt. I did not get the damn pants. The pants were sold out by the time I got there. Crap out because that was like the one item that I really, really wanted from the clothing. So, damn, this is huge. Travis Scott right there. We got Michael Jordan right here. Cactus Jack logo. They put like the double thick layer print right here. And then of course we got the shoes right there. One thing that I didn't know was that these shoes actually come with yellow laces. Extra, la oh wow, look at that line right there. What the hell? Bro, it looks like somebody cracked this. Look at that, oh my god, what the hell? You didn't look at it? No? You can't check the shoe out like that when you buy it. Look at that. There's literally a big ass crack on the back of my Travis Scott's. But let me show you this. Oh, <laughs> woo! Damn, look at that glow on here, though. Damn, so sick. Okay, so my Travis Scott's secured, was able to get my second pair here. Now the Travis Scott is not even gonna be the main point of this video. There's another pair of shoes that I really wanna show you guys, but that I think is the most underrated sneaker of 2019. Okay, so kind of want to get a little out of the sneaker talk just for a moment. Now, besides being a diehard sneaker head, one other thing I love is tech. And I'm always trying to find the newest, dopest tech, whether it comes from computer gadgets to camera things. And recently, I've been using these right here. These are the Raycon E25 True Wireless earbuds unleash the next wave look how small these things are this is actually the charging case so you're not gonna have to worry about losing the earbuds because the charging case takes care of them now for those of you guys that did not know raycon was actually founded by ray j one thing i love about them is that they're super comfortable and to find your right fit it comes with a whole bunch of these little buds right here that you could put on to find the one that's most most comfortable for you so when it comes to raycon earbuds they start at about half the price of any other premium earbuds on the market. Sound is just as amazing as any other top audio brands you know. And this latest model is the best one yet. Six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, which I love because a lot of the music that I listen to has that thump to it. And it gives you that nice noise isolating fit said it comes in some fun colorways so that's a dope thing i even edited one of my videos with these things it was super comfortable usually with headphones if i have them in my ear for too long it starts to get a little bit sore so the fact that these were in my ear for multiple hours and i honestly did not feel a thing that's what i love the most because i want to be comfortable and not let anything distract me when i'm editing listening to music working out traveling all of that so guys if you want to pick up your raycon earbuds all you got to do is click the link in my description we're also going to be giving you guys 15% off, 15% off your order, so don't sleep. Now, like I said, we got more to talk about. There's a lot of stuff I've been doing over the last few days, and one of my friends was actually in town, Jacob Starr, and he picked up one of the hottest Supreme items of the whole season. This item that he picked up was so dope that I had to do a comparison video. Roll the footage. All right, guys, so we are currently in the car right now. We are with the one, the only, Mr. Starlight, hey, Jacob Starr. Hey, 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 hey. My man, Jacob. 
he's the real plug because he just bought me the Supreme Burner Phone, baby. So from now on, whenever I need to call my plug, yo, you got the sneakers? All right, good. No, I'm just kidding. This is his. He had a spot in line. Wait, you didn't have to pay resale, right? You actually were able yeah, to get it. Online, yeah, and what I time got, was your slot? I got slot? two of them for retail. Oh wow, bro! Supreme actually released the phone. That is literally insane to me. What's weird about these is they don't work in China. They don't work in China. Yeah, they're 3G because they're so old. That oh my god. Well, I mean, it's cool. I think it's like a dope little thing to have. I, I didn't go crazy for it. I've, I've told you guys before. I'm not really tripping off of this season. It's kind of whatever to me. I wish you could play Snake on it. That would have been dope. It has games on, doesn't it? I know it has games, but I don't think it has Snake. But if you could play Snake, that's an instant classic. I used to play Snake on my old, what was that company that used to make the phones that was like the most popular? Was it Motorola? There was one where- I had the Nokia, so. Nokia, the, I had the Nokia. Do you, do you remember the Nokia? The numbers were in a circle. It wasn't like this. You know what used to be the iPhone of cell phones was the T-Mobile Sidekick. Nice. Did you ever have that or no? No, I was broke. Never had it, I was broke too. If we were to do an iPhone comparison, I would say that the iPhone 11 Max Pro is just a little bit better than the Supreme phone. And here's why. As you can see, the size is not that different. It's uh, kind of very similar when it comes to the size. As far as the camera goes, you could see that Apple went with three lenses. Supreme went with one, which is definitely an upgrade over it. But we're gonna give uh, iPhone the benefit of the doubt just because, you know, it has the wide angle. I don't know if Supreme actually designed this phone. All right, now moving on to the front, as you guys can see, iPhone is really like, they're they're not modern. They don't have buttons on their screen. As you can see, the Supreme phone has buttons. That is so 2020. So that definitely gives it some brownie points. And overall, I gotta say that the phone that takes the 2019 phone of the year has gotta be the Supreme phone. The other big thing is like, the iPhone doesn't have any branding on the front of the screen. Like, yeah, like, like look at this, like, if you're making a call, you know what phone you're using. Yeah, you can't even tell this is an Apple. Like, you can yeah. barely see that app it kind of looks like a pear so yeah guys if you are literally having trouble trying to decide to get the iPhone 11 or the supreme phone definitely go with the supreme phone I'm gonna link it down below that literally made no sense <laughs> Okay guys, so we're back. Obviously I was joking, the Supreme Burner phone is nowhere near the iPhone 11. You guys are probably wondering, Kais, why are you at this park? Why aren't you at home? Now, there is a pair of sneakers that I personally think is the most underrated pair of shoes of 2019. Now, I might have previously said this on another pair of shoes, I can't remember, but to me, this shoe is just absolutely fire. They're sitting, I literally just went to the mall two days after they came out and got them in my size, no problem, which I can't believe. And that is the pair of shoes that's actually holding my camera right now. I had my camera on top of those. Let's see what's in the box. What's in the box? All right. That was not a fail. Bam, Air Jordan 10 box. OG style, baby. Thank you, Jumpman, for that. The Air Jordan 10 Seattle. been in the game for a while now you know that this right here oh my this right here was a grail this was part of the city pack dude oh, i can't even make a damn sneaker review anymore these days without any freaking interruption so the city pack came in new york orlando seattle chicago of course and sacramento obviously the most popular colorway is probably the chicago one because that was the one that was you know michael jordan scotty pippen i believe wore them on court too which was pretty cool i haven't seen any other guys really talk about this i've seen a few people post about it but i feel like a lot of people are just falling for the hype and i i know that's coming from me someone who is all about the hype. But 
just because a shoe isn't hype doesn't mean we shouldn't make a video about it. And I feel like this shoe deserves that attention. And you know what? I'm kind of happy that a lot of people are sleeping on these because like I said, I got to just go to the mall and pick them up for retail. No problem, no questions asked, no raffles, no camp outs, baby. So yeah, man, the Seattle Jordan 10s, if you are an OG Jordan collector, I don't see why you would pass on these. I mean, I, to a lot of people, if you take the green off, the bottom and the top, it's just the black and white Jordan 10. There's not too much going on. Jordan 10s are actually pretty plain, but to me, these are fire. Now, I kind of want to hoop in these just because I've never hooped in a pair of Air Jordan 10s and I just think they're really comfortable. Oh, I almost forgot to show you guys the dopest little detail. Your size, whatever size you buy this shoe in, it's gonna have it right there on the inside of the shoe. Not only have, will it have it on the size tag, but the OGs back in the day, they used to put the sizes on big numbers right on the inside of the shoe just so it would be easier to spot. So they actually did that with this pair. So that's actually a cool little detail that they threw in there. So that's actually super cool. Definitely check these out. Leather quality is great. Like I got no complaints. And yeah, man, I wanted to just show you guys those before we uh, end off the video. And like I said, this video was kind of all over the place. It's kind of just a bunch of footage that I've been gathering and, and all that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will be giving you guys a really big update video soon. There's there's a lot going on in my head and a lot going on in my life right now. And I kind of just want to break it all down and talk about what's going to be happening next with me in the future and this channel and all of that good stuff. So we're out of here. I'm going to wrap up my park adventure, probably head to a Starbucks or something and start editing this video and uh yeah i don't even have an outro i need to think of an outro i've been doing this for way too long i'm just taking my sneakers and i'm leaving peace dream crew dream crew dream crew they just want to do it how we do living my life like the beatles i just pulled up with some lethal they get it mad and deceitful i make it hard to be peaceful they tell me i got an ego but i'm putting up for my people